Uh, so long time no see, but we're back with a video on the giant TCR 2024-2025 model. So it's just been seen in the flesh and here it is at Strada Bianca. So we'll get straight into it. We're going to compare it to the old TCR. We're going to compare it to the new Propel, obviously, but Propel's behind it. But we've got a better side on picture as well. So most striking thing, obviously, is just no cables exposed first time done for the TCR second striking thing no drop seat stays one of the only bikes really with a without drop seat stays we can also see the forks extremely narrow if you compare it to the propel here you can see extremely narrow forks very very lightweight will be my guess it also has the integrated seat most seat post mask which is a classic giant thing it's an absolute pain with to travel or whatever but it is does make the frame super light so that's kind of one thing that will be interesting is obviously when it's when it's released how light it is because i don't see too many error features we can have a look at the head tube and you can see is it more arrow than the propel no it does it look more like a propel yes is that that's potentially square at the back a bit and then it's a bit more to kind of tape it inwards maybe it looks it looks like it's got cues at least but when we show them side to side with the old uh, tcr maybe not down tube again just round there's no kind of aero profiling it looks pretty square and generally square slash cylinders not good for the aerodynamics uh very narrow seat stays again and yeah that's kind of the main thing so we'll just look at the old ones side by side so they don't look radically different do they i think the head tube is the bit where you see there's a bit more shaping over here in comparison to here obviously the cables are exposed so that's the big reason you'd buy it in terms of geometry they it's always hard to tell because the bike's coming is different it looks slightly more angled this the seat stays but that might just be from where you're taking the picture because you're looking up but it's not radically different and i think that might be good tcr fans might be happy i think maybe i was expecting it to go full uci illegal be super super light which maybe it will be and then i could see the reason to buy it at the moment you know, we need more details, you know, is it going to be Athos level sub 600 grams? Then you could see why you'd buy it because obviously Athos is the s work Athos frame set is so, so expensive. But I think otherwise it's really hard to see where this fits in. And we're going to go over to the next slide, which is the Giant Propel. Now, the Giant Propel, this build is 6.8 kilos. Obviously it has tubulars, I believe, on this picture. Uh, so, you know, you're not going to run tubulars if you're a normal person. However, it does make you think where does the TCR sit in that lineup because if you think it's going to be the one for the mountains well maybe the, the propel they can get light enough I think the argument would be the TCR maybe with deep section wheels could be more aero than the propel on a very hilly day and obviously can be made like if they're both 6.8 the propel maybe you've got to run stupid wheels you've got to run tubulars then you have increased rolling resistance so then that's not as good that would be the argument maybe I'm not 100% sure What's interesting though is obviously they ran it on Strada Bianca and maybe it has really wide tire clearance, but I assume the Propel probably has 30s, which is what most people run on Strada. People don't really run more than 32 normally on Strada Bianca, or at least all the pictures I saw. In terms of the integration, again, you can see it looks very similar. It's, it looks like a two-piece setup uh, here, two-piece setup here, obviously, and I couldn't imagine the space to be too different. You can see it's a little bit, it's a bit more cut away there, while there it's more like open, so it's obviously maybe not as low lower position obviously geometry for the giant propel is going to be a lot more aggressive than the tcr i think you know is it a groundbreaking bike i don't think so is it the first tcr that looks a bit more modern yes is it too surprising that they've made it integrated cables no is it really going to be a big bike winner i don't know i think it depends on the weight of the frame it depends how light you can get this and how much it costs because if, if this frame is really 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 light like sub 600 grams and the frame set is not too expensive. I could see a lot of people wanting to build this as a weight weenie bike because the Athos is kind of a bit ridiculous at the moment. However, the issue is if it's not that light, you know, it's just going to be a poor man's SL8. And then the SL8 is a lot more error, I reckon. Obviously, a lot of this in a wind tunnel, but, you know, it doesn't take a genius to realize that the forks are very narrow. It's got a square down tube. It's not... It's not going to be as aero as the Propel, let's say, for sure. And you think the SLA is quick, uh, the Decathlon Rysel bike, that is quick as well. So those are kind of the things it's rivaling, and I, I don't know where it really sits in. I think, obviously, we'll have to see the total package of what, what they're saying in terms of speed, in terms of weight, like speed in terms of aero, and everything else. But, yeah, even the Defy, maybe I should have compared it to, it looks pretty similar. Obviously, it's a more aggressive geometry, but it's not. It's, it's interesting. I think it's there's some 
bold statements of not doing drop seat stays, not changing much, but then also maybe not being bold, having the exposed cables, maybe they could have said, look, this is going to be a bike for people who don't want exposed cables. It's going to be mad light. You know, they could have made a different statement. In my opinion, they kind of followed the masses a little bit uh, in terms of making a lightweight-ish climbing bike. It doesn't look that like aero. I don't really know. I like it. I had a TCR. I really liked it. Uh, but now I, I don't know exactly why you'd buy one uh, necessarily unless you just unless it's just really the cost obviously the TCRs are, are a lot cheaper than other bikes but it'd be interested to see what what the deal is I believe it's supposed to be properly launched on Wednesday so we'll be excited to see then but anyway leave your thoughts below what do you think of the new TCR would you buy one do you think anyone will buy one and yeah cheers for watching see you in the next one